Okay, so you bought a cheap Fender guitar and you want to get it set up decently. Um, I'm going to show you the very basics on how to get that done. This is the very, very basics. And these are the tools and all the supplies you're going to need. You're going to need a towel, um, a nice flat surface to work on. You're going to need uh, probably metric uh, socket and ratchet set, a regular screwdriver, some jeweler screwdrivers, a pair of cutters, little clippers. Probably won't need these uh, metric uh, hex screws, hex wrenches, but we'll have them here just in case. And just a little something to collect any screws that we're going to be taking out of the guitar. Um, we want to open the towel up so we have a nice soft surface for the guitar. We don't scratch it up or ding it up. Uh, what we're going to be working on today is my 1982 Fender Squire Strat. It's been through hell, but uh, it's one of the first guitars I ever bought, and it's still my baby. Um, first thing we're going to do with your guitar, we're going to take these cutters right here and just cut right through these strings. Get the strings right off. Um, make sure you've already bought another set of strings. I recommend GHS Boomers. Um, for a beginner player, I would definitely go with a very light gauge, uh, 8 gauge or 9 gauge. Alright, so we get our strings off. Then we want to flip the guitar over and there will be a little back on here, 6 screws. Uh, my back's gone. Um, and we're going to see these springs and there's a little thing there, I don't know if you can see it, that holds the springs in and there's two screws. First thing you want to do is take these screws and tighten them in as far as they will possibly go. Alright, what that will do is put more tension on these springs and in the meantime it will prevent your bridge from coming up and knocking your guitar out of tune. Take your tremolo arm and throw it in the garbage because it's useless on this type of guitar. Unless you want to play out of tune all the time, that's up to you. Um, by tightening those screws in the back, it'll help it stay in tune better if you decide to use the whammy bar, which I totally recommend against. Alright, now that those screws are tightened, you can put your plate back on top. You know, screw it back in. We're all done in the back. Now in the front, we want to take all of our knobs off. I'm only going to take one off here because I don't want to play around too much. And we want to get our socket and make sure that these are all tight. Be careful when you're tightening them up that the that the whether it's called a potentiometer. Make sure the pot itself isn't spinning. You want it, otherwise you're going to break some wires off inside. Make sure those are tight, first of all. Then we can put our knobs back on once they're all tight. That's important because it, it'll uh, make your pots last longer um, and prevent scratching and crackling and all kinds of issues, breaking wires and stuff. Make sure that those are tight. When you get a cheap guitar, it's probably traveled from all the way from China. Everything's going to be loose on it. So now the second thing we want to do is we're going to come up to these babies here. These are called machine heads. You can call them tuning pegs, tuning knobs, but the technical term is machine heads. Now remember, we have no screw, no uh, strings on this guitar. We're going to flip it over and on the back there will be screws. Make sure they are tight. Now if you tighten one up and see that it's stripped out, not a big deal. I'll tell you how to fix that once I show you, assuming everything goes well. Make sure they're tight. Don't crank them to the point where you, where you will strip it out, but just make sure they're tight and solid. And on the front of the machine heads, we have nuts. So we want to get go back to our socket. Make sure these are all nice and tight. They, they need to be tight or you're going to have problems with tuning. Now, like I said, we'll go to the back, and if you did happen to have one strip out, take the screw out. If it's stripped and it won't stay tight, just take the screw out. Come back to the front, get your socket, unscrew this nut, and take, take the thing apart. It's no big deal. It may sound complicated, but it's not. And what you'll do is the little hole 
that's stripped out, you take a little piece of paper, just rip the little piece of paper and twist it up into like a little roll and jam it, jam it right in the hole and that will make sure that when you screw the screw back in, the screw will have something to catch on to. Very easy trick, I do it all the time. Um, it works great and it is permanent. Now that we've got everything tightened up, that can possibly be tightened up, up here, we also want to make sure that this nut where your jack is, where you plug your plug into, this needs to be tight. You may have to remove this cover so that you're not twisting the uh, input jack itself. This needs to be tight, very important. Otherwise, every time you plug your guitar in or you move a little bit, it's gonna crack and make all kinds of noise. So now that we've got that, this will, everything I've just given you will help keep your guitar in tune, make it more playable, more user friendly. Next thing we're gonna look at, like I said, this is just the very basics. This will be the last, the last thing is our pickups. That's what these are. Um, we want to adjust the height of these. What you do is you take your guitar, lay your finger down on your very highest fret and take a look at how high above the pickups they are. Depending on how aggressively you play, if you play really hard as hell, you're going to want your pickups to be about oh three eighths of an inch quarter of an inch I don't know you're gonna want them to be lower if you play really light you can put your your pickup height to maybe about an eighth of an inch below your strings if your pickups are set too high what's gonna happen is when you as you come up higher your strings are going to start touching your pickups and make buzzing or even completely drowning out the sound of your guitar do that for all your pickups uh, don't worry about putting them down too low. I'd rather it's better to have them a little bit too low, low as in down, than too high. Um, that's about it uh, that we're going to get into today. That's a really good place to start. Restring your guitar, which is a whole nother video in itself. Restringing and retuning. It's quite a long process um, to get it done properly. But for now, restring your guitar, tune it up, and you should be ready to go. Um, be more videos to follow.